What's going on guys, it's iGalf94 here again, and uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks, I've just been really busy with school, and uh been playing golf three or four days a week with my school, so I'm getting home late, I haven't really had time to uh, make some videos between all, all that, but uh finally found some time, so uh, I got a couple of videos I'm going to put up, so uh, this is the first one, big update going on, if you guys have been checking out my other videos, I told you about uh, my driver, I had the R9 for uh, about two weeks. I I had it pre-owned, so I was able to get my store credit when I returned it. And uh, like I said, I just this is I actually had this for two weeks, but uh, I want between you know I didn't have time to uh, make a video, and I wanted to use it on the course before I uh, reviewed it for you guys, so I knew what I was talking about. So now I'm gonna review and talk about my new driver. It is the TaylorMade. Super fast burner, super fast 2.0. Uh, this thing is probably the most ridiculously sexy, amazing driver I've hit. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. Uh, re really good driver. So uh, I'll take the head cover off for you. I mean, you. I mean, even the head cover is amazing. So uh, hold on, just give me a second while I put my camera down. Alright, so as you can see, here is the super fast 2.0. I needed a, I got fitted for this by the way, like I said in my other videos, needed a 9.5 uh, loft, and the shaft is, let me just turn it around, it is Matrix Ozix Stiff, hold on, there we go, Stiff Flex. Uh, that's what I got fitted for, and uh, so far it's been working out great, so let me just try to get better light. As you can see, it's got the white head, black face, and uh, new burner super fast 2.0. So uh, I'll just go through this club, I guess, top to bottom, and uh, tell you some things I like about it, which is a lot of things. Tell you some things I don't like about it, which is almost nothing but uh start from the top the grip uh this is probably the only thing i don't like about the club in the store the grip felt amazing it was nice and tacky and stuff but as you know when i was swinging it on the course right when i start my downswing in uh in my hands i would feel the club uh, uh like slip a little so this grip really in my opinion it's not too good I've used it for two weeks and it's already like worn out, so uh, definitely. I think over this weekend I'm going to Golf Galaxy, putting a multi compound on here and two multi compounds on my wedges because those groups are worn down and I really like the multi compounds. So uh, that's probably the only thing I don't like about this club is the grip, but that could be changed. The club is still amazing. So the shaft for. Those of you who don't know, on the Burner 2.0, the shaft is a little bit longer, which uh, helps with your club head speed. It'll give you a couple miles uh, more club head speed, which means more distance, which is the whole goal. So, uh, shaft is awesome. I love the shaft. Really light. Uh, it looks pretty cool, actually. Matrix so it's a good shaft. So, nothing wrong with the shaft. Uh, now to the head. Which is, you know, the the new the talk of 2011 so far, I guess, is TaylorMade releasing all 2011 white products. A lot of people are against the white. I don't know. I've heard that they don't like it. It looks weird out of dress or whatever. I think it's awesome. I don't know if you you guys can't really see it now. You can. When you go to line up the ball, you could see exactly where you're aiming. You could see the black face against the white head, perfect. So. You know, they really did a good job. Also, it's good to promote advertising, and it's obviously helping them um, sell more products because pe people want to try the Whitehead. People see the Whitehead on TV, they know it's TaylorMade. So, definitely good, good uh, idea for TaylorMade to go with the white. A little different. I think it's awesome. A lot of people were afraid you couldn't really see the ball against the Whitehead, which is completely false. I see it probably even better against the Whitehead. 
because the face is, is black, so it contrasts perfectly. So I got, no, got the uh, matte white finish. It's got a pretty cool uh, design going around the head. At the, there it says burner. And that's the face. The face is awesome. Uh, like I said, black. You can see the contrast. Ball comes off so when you hit this thing good, the ball comes off so hot. As you can see, I got a lot of ball marks in the, uh, the sweet spot. So I've been hitting this thing really good. Uh, the, uh, it's kind. Of, it's not like a hollow, but when the ball comes off, it makes a really cool, like more of a high pitched sound than a regular driver. I think it's awesome. So uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't talk more about this club on how much I love it. It's just amazing. Another thing, I mean, as you can see, I have a couple T marks there. That's just because they show up easily on the black. It doesn't really annoy me. You don't see that. But uh, this club is probably it's straightened out my drives, which I needed. But that was because of the shaft. But uh, my my swing speed has increased. I think it's at like 104. 103, something like that, and I used to be at like 92, 93, so maybe about 10 miles an hour more between the lighter club, which I don't know if I said, this club is, this is probably the lightest driver I've ever, actually I think it is the lightest driver I've ever put in my hands, I think it may be the lightest driver on the market. Uh, the head, as you could see, it's aerodynamic, it's not that traditional pear shape. It's more of an aerodynamic shape, which also helps promote more club head speed, which is the main goal of the Burner series. They, this club is meant to be lighter and faster to give you more distance. The R11 is meant to be more adjustable. You know, you could change the face angle, the loft angle, which honestly, yeah, I don't really need that. You know, if I want my ball to go straight, I'll fix my swing. I don't want to have to fix my club. And plus, this is $100 cheaper, so. Uh, definitely great club, as you could see. It's got, I don't know if you could see that, let me find some light. Yeah, it's got that aerodynamic shape on the bottom also. So, uh, overall just a great club. If anyone's looking at, to buy a driver and want, you know, it's not a, uh, not on really any, any uh, big budget, I, I'd say this is definitely worth $300. Um, like I said, it's given me about 10 to 15 yards more. It's put me on, I'd say, about 50% more fairways, which is uh, lowering my score a lot. So definitely worth the money, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else I could really say. It's, uh, it's a great club. So that's really it for this review. Uh, I'm making some more videos after this, so I'm trying to keep you guys updated. Uh, that's really it. So comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks, guys.